Hey folks, Twister Christian. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I've discussed before, especially concerning Kim Clement's prophecies. And we're dealing with Israel and either a strike on Israel or Israel will attack Iran as far as like their nuclear facility, which could lead to an eventual all-out war in the Middle East. Now, if you've been paying to attention to some of the videos that I've been doing over the last week, you'll see how much the Middle East could heat up and how quickly it can with everything that's going on from Saudi Arabia to now Afghanistan and to that whole entire region. And a lot of things could happen very quickly and a lot of changes could happen very quickly. One of the things that I want to bring to your attention is if Israel feels threatened concerning the nuclear facility, they probably will do something about it. Probably a 99.9% .9 chance that they will do something. As I pulled this article from August 25th, as Bennett meets Biden, IDF ramps up plans for strike on Iran's nuke program. Military defense minister believe a credible threat of an of an Israeli attack on Tehran's nuclear facilities is the only way U.S. will be able to negotiate a better deal with the Islamic Republic. I don't have to read the whole article, but this has been discussed uh, for a while now, over the past couple of years, that they may actually have to do some strikes inside of Iran instead of this whole shadow war where they're trying to hack into the facilities uh, or maybe use some type of uh, satellite weaponry. Uh, an attempt to destroy the facility or at least weaken it, but none of those things have worked. I also believe that Air Iran knows that this is going to happen, and so they quickly reached a deal. Here, they just came out, I believe, yesterday or the day before. Iran and UN watchdog reached deal on nuclear monitoring. Iran and the International Atomic Energy Agency reached an agreement on Sunday that will allow the United Nations nuclear watchdog group to provide upkeep on its mon monitoring cameras at Iran nuclear sites. Okay, the last minute agreement prevents another crisis on the road to restoring the 2015 nuclear deal as Iran was on the cusp of being censured for violating its agreement with the IAEA. Just last week the IAEA said its efforts had been seriously undermined by the Iranian government refusal to allow access to its monitoring equipment which tracks the progress of Iran's nuclear program. Under the new agreement, Iran has allowed the IAEA to service the identified equipment and replace their storage media, according to the joint press release. We agreed over the replacement of memory cards of the agency's cameras. Mohammed al Samay, head of the Atomic Energy Agency of Iran. Okay, I'm not going to read anymore. Basically, this just has to deal with the cameras and, and checking on their equipment and, and all that, which really it isn't really a deal. So this this right here is really just really smoke and mirrors because who cares about the cameras, right? It's more than you can you can avoid camera detection if you really want to. And, you know, if, if they go from anything, if they're if they have to do anything, you know, they could just disable a camera momentarily to get done whatever they need to get done. Right. Then we have this article that came out yesterday. Time is running out. Israel warned Iran's nuclear program at the most advanced point ever. Israeli Prime Minister Bennett put the world on notice that time is running out to stop Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. Speaking at his cabinet meeting on Sunday, Bennett sounded an international wake-up call. I am calling on world powers. Don't fall into the trap of Iranian deception that will lead to additional concessions. You must not give up inspecting sites and at the most important thing the most important message is that there must be a time limit. Israel remains clear. Its military option to strike Iran's nuclear facilities is open. Okay, earlier this month, UN agency monitoring Iran's nuclear program released a confidential report saying that for months, the regime hindered access to its nuclear sites by damaging surveillance cameras. The report said that it is also expanding the nuclear program dangerously close to weapons grade level. To avert a political showdown, Iran invited the agency back this weekend, but it could be too late. So, folks, all I just want to say, just concerning this, is that Iran is really close to developing what they want, right? And they're doing everything 
they can to keep the UN out and to give them disinformation or deceit or whatever you want to call it. And you know what, folks? Time is running out. And I think, really honestly, I would be surprised if Israel launches some type of a missile attack that clearly takes out the nuclear facility. Because everything else they're doing is not working. And if this happens, this could lead out to a Middle East outbreak war of all the different things that we've been talking about. Right, so we don't know how all of this is going to play out. I just want you guys to be on a prophetic alert. And this is going to be part of some of the signs that we are seeing for some of these prophecies that are getting ready to be fulfilled. So folks, I hope that you guys are ready. You're all ready to go through when things seem at their worst. You know, are you guys ready in putting yourselves in the position financially? You're putting yourselves, you know, physically uh, as far as making sure you have the things that you need because, folks, we, we already have a supply shortage, right? There's a lot of places all around the world, and it's worse in some places than it is here in the United States. So we need to make sure that we're prepared to go through this short period of time when things seem at their worst. We don't know how long this whole thing is going to drag out. Prophetic, prophetically speaking, you know, we know certain wars may only last, you know, 24, 48 hours. And that there's going to be other conflicts other than just with, you know, Israel and the United States and Iran. You know, there's other countries we have with other issues and uh, with other prophecies like Saudi Arabia. I just wanted to make sure that I brought this to your attention uh, that that they are basically willing to strike. They need to do something to stop them from obtaining nuclear weapons. I see it. And if something doesn't happen, if they are, if the UN is unable to get in there and really do a true inspection, and of course we wouldn't believe the Iranians anyway, but if the inspectors can't get in there, then Israel will make a move. So folks, I thank you for listening. God bless. With that being said, TC out.